here's the deal, everybody. We just got in from the boat, and on cue, Remy is in there destroying her toy. But uh, we got in from the boat, cleaned up a bunch of snapper, caught a really nice mutton snapper, and this is how you fillet it up. If you want to watch how to fillet a mutton snapper, just click on that video and you'll be there. But here's some mutton snapper fillet. We've also got some chicken thighs, and just the other day I was at but my dogs, when we start doing a video, they go absolutely bonkers. They want to, it's like, they're just upset about us doing a video in here. How do you deal with that? Hey, what is, is your house like this? I don't know, ours is, it's crazy. Hey, hey, I'm gonna put you outside. Ow, go on. We've got some chicken thighs. I love dark meat. I'm not so much into the chicken breasts. I like the chicken thighs. I think they're much more moist and flavorful. Everglades chicken and fish on the top. Now I know, yeah, you can leave the skin on or take it off. I just, I like leaving the skin on. And we're gonna cook it in a grill pan. So apply this nice and liberally, just like that. Now I'm gonna take Everglades rub. That right there, Everglades rub. and apply it on this side oh man this is one of those times where I wish I had a really nice grill or smoker at my house because it would be so good now we're just gonna let this sit here's a bowl of white corn that's actually grown out in the glades about 40 miles from here and it is so good instead of cooking it on the cob I just took a knife sliced it off and I'm gonna saute that Here's some of those fish fillets I was talking about. Wait till you see what we're gonna make with this. While we're at it, I got some notes here. Keyed up 2626, boom, thank you so much for all the nice things you say. White jeans 747, you guys rock. White bone reflections, Tim Lee, and the James K86. You made comments about us being great parents one day. We thank you so very much for that. We certainly hope so. Uh, and twice bitten. There's much more, but we're gonna mention y'all later. As always, I can't thank you enough for subscribing. Today I was checking out my YouTube channel. We've got fans in over 126 different countries, and we've only had this channel for a year. We're up to like 5,150 subscribers, and we're growing. We're growing because of y'all. Y'all always being on the channel, saying cool things, being awesome, it's like, I can't remember the last time I had a negative comment and thank you so much. Every time someone does say something rude or nasty, y'all come to my defense and pow, thank you for that. So we're gonna cook this tomorrow with David and Susan. Then we've got some shrimp. So with the shrimp and the fish, you don't need anything else. You don't need salt, pepper, nothing. You just need some Everglades. Just like that. I'm sure you're asking, what is he making? Well, you're gonna see in just a minute. Throw that right in there, throw that right in there, put this on the edge, and rinse this off. All right, so here we go. That's a bowl of flour. And you're gonna wanna spread that out on your cutting board. Because what we don't want to happen, we don't want our, see this? Those are egg rolls, all natural egg roll wraps. You can get them in your local grocery store or like gourmet market, in the produce section, they'll be in the chilled cooler. Pull one out. It's a little square, just like that. They're not very tough, so be tender with them. Lay it on that flour so it doesn't stick. And pick out a nice piece of fish, about like that. That's a nice, healthy piece of fish. Lay it in there. Oh, look how good that looks. Then we're gonna take a piece of mango, just like that some basil just like that I don't want cheese in this one it didn't really I didn't like the way the cheese tasted and then we're gonna take some sesame seeds sesame seeds are awesome on anything like this they have a nice beautiful flavor just like that and then we are going to wrap this thing up now. How is that brush, honey? That's wonderful. Where did you find this thing? Picked it up real quick. 
You guys, she's like a pack rat. She stores everything where I can never find it. Okay, there's a huge difference between organization and being a pack rat, honey. Well, you just store everything away. If you want to give your egg rolls like a lot of flavor, brush them with a little egg, and then just dust them with a, just a touch of seasoning. See how that is? Now that seasoning is now embedded in the wrap. Then roll it in your roll it in your flour, and it's locked there forever. It's going to make your egg roll so much better. So why don't you do this old Asian trick to all of them? Because I just thought it up. I'm going to make a sauce for our rolls when they're done. Take some soy. This is all together too slow. Okay, so I've got some soy sauce, orange blossom honey. I'm gonna put about 50-50, 50-50 uh, honey and soy. We'll take this, and it's gonna make like a glaze. Now, that's all you need to do. Just soy sauce and honey. You don't need anything else. Now, I like stuff to be a little more spicy than Sarah. So I'm going to add some wasabi powder to mine. But, mm, la, 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 la. That's about all I need. And mix it up. And you're going to make sure it tastes right. Wasabi is mint to really open up your sinuses and have a wonderful flavor. It's Japanese horseradish. <laughs> Alrighty, now, this is getting hot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my grill pan. I want it to get really, really hot. Really nice and hot. Take some Pam nonstick spray, spray it on there like that. In here, turn this on, get it nice and hot. This is ready to go. And we're going to take our rolls and lay them in the oil. Just like that. We don't want them scorching hot. We just want it nice and bubble fried, just like that. Stick your finger in it, it will cook your finger. First things first, I want the chicken meat side down. Oh, so good. If you do not have a grill pan, go out and get one. They are so valuable. I love mine. Although it's about beat up, torn up, worn out. But Now I'm going to flip these. Watch. So good. Come on. Look at that. Oh, look at the sesame seeds. That's the first time I've ever tried that. It won't be the last. Did you flip that one with that one? Now, our chicken is starting to smell so good. I mean, the Everglades chicken and fish and the Everglades uh, rub have like a wonderful, sweet, smoky, paprika, garlic. I mean, it's just like all the, the, the taste that you love. And in here, I just cooked some rice and added some mushrooms. Cook rice. Throw the mushrooms in it, let it cook down to these cakes. I didn't figure you guys wanted me to go through that whole deal. Now, let's cook some, let's cook some right, uh, some, uh, uh, corn. 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 Right in there. 
And I also added all our leftover basil, because that basil will just add some great flavor. Now, like I said, this was just corn that I cut off the cob. No big deal. The manugi, throw it in there, and I sort of want it to just brown a little bit, get a little caramelized. Add some regular um, Everglades. If Sarah wasn't here, I would be using Everglades heat on that, but she doesn't like it. Hey, don't forget your stickies. Alrighty. Now, Did you hear me? Don't forget. don't forget your stickies. Oh, we got to talk about some new people. Bionic Skittles. You're the man. Uh, you've been commenting a lot lately, and we really appreciate that. We're going to take these out. Oh, so good. Uh, John Mims, you're coming down to go duck hunting with me. South Carolina boy there. And uh, we were talking earlier about duck hunting a little bit. Um, Orange coming back double plow. You're from Vietnam, and I thank you so much for subscribing and leaving comments. I think it's awesome that people from all over the world are on the page because that's what it's all about. Breaking down borders and being friends with everybody. Um, and then La Monstra C. La Monstra C, thank you all so much for the kind comments. There are more names to come. Ooh. Now you see how nice and hot that's getting? Funny, get a nice look and you can see how it's browning. So, I don't want it all to get brown. It's not like I'm trying to burn my corn, but I am trying to get it nice and hot so the little edges here and there uh, get brown. Check out our meat. We're gonna bring the heat down to about a medium. Watch this. Oh, look how nice and caramelized that is. So nice. So nice. Beautiful. Now, some of y'all might not like it browned that much. I love it when it's browned like that. That's the good thing about skin too, you can just peel it off. Yeah, you can just peel it off if you want. Now, we've got all our rolls knocked out. Then you can come in here. This is mine. And just brush that glaze right on there, just like that. Oh, so good. You should have done mine first, because now the brush is not spicy. No, that's not too spicy, honey. Bring this down to really low. Wow, that's sweet. So the chicken's been cooking for about 12 minutes. I think it's going to take probably about 16, 17, 18 minutes, something like that. I like my cook, chicken cooked all the way through. But I am wanting to taste these. I think I will. Oh, ah. That's what he gets for eating without me. Look at that. That is remarkable. Where's the rest of our sauce? In the fridge. Tap the sauce on the back. So good. <laughs> that thing is fantastic. My turn. Mm, yeah, problem. What well, one aren't spicy? Hmm? Mm, I don't think that's spicy. Try the one, no, try the one with the um, sesame seeds. That's all shrimp. I want some. That's all shrimp too. Mmm. -hmm. They're very good. Wow. Y'all didn't see that. Mmm. -hmm. Hold on. I got fish and mango in that one. So good. 
And y'all, I know I'm just the camera woman, but I really appreciate all the nice comments you guys say about me too because we just, we're a pair. We're like two peas in the pod and we go together. So I appreciate Aww. it. <laughs> we're just like two peas in a pod, y'all. Two peas in a pod. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Come over here. Look good. Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> really hot on the shirt. And this is what Robert does in between flipping his chicken. <laughs> Checks YouTube. Yeah, I'm answering everybody on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you all so much. And subscribe when this video is done. Now, if it's not done enough, we can throw it back in the pan, but I don't want to overcook it. <whistles> Looking good. Yummy, yummy, in my tummy. There's two rolls left. Folks, I turned the chicken in five seconds. I don't want one on my plate. I just had two. Corn. While he goes on YouTube during breaks, I eat during breaks. No shame. I gotta get up one other thing. Hey, check this out. See this stuff? I got it in a gallon jug. That's Everglades Moppin' Sauce. Yeah. If I buy it by the gallon, you know what's good. Let's say, Let's say a blessing. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day and for this food and for all the many blessings you've given us. Lord, I thank you for Sarah and our family and our strength and our health. Lord, please forgive us of all of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, let's see what Sarah likes about the chicken. Mm. <laughs> very, very good. But I'm trying to be healthy, so I'm not gonna eat the skin. I'll just give it to Robert. Is that okay to eat? Yeah, of course. Like what is it like what can you Okay. It's really really moist and really 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 juicy. Is that the same thing? Moist and juicy? I don't know. Well it's moist and it's juicy. And the flavors. Oh they pop in your mouth. Mmm. Better than sweet baby rays. Better than Jack Daniels. The best. Real good. I didn't even know you knew those existed. Well, before mopping sauce, that's all I used. Oh, yeah. So good. Oh, yeah, we got more people. Don't worry, y'all. I'm paying attention. Yep. We've got our weed right here. But uh, Rick Potter snack, thank you. Tim Webb, obviously, sporting Everglades over there in the Channel Islands. Ronots 2, Joe, you're awesome, always there. Refried Wrench 21, and Nicholas Almerico. I hope I said that right. All of you guys. I mean, it's like every time I go on my YouTube channel, I get notifications and it's like, I know y'all are there. And it means so much that you guys take the time, to check it all out, and you like what we do. Because if you like our videos, I guarantee you, if you were just hanging out with us, you would have a good time because our videos could not be any more real. At all. Now, I just this week filmed a TV show for TV. Let's just say I won't ever do that again. TV is so not real. She's mad at me because I'm saying that, but it's true. TV is like, let's make this up, let's make that up. We've got to talk about sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. Yeah, it's no joke. Everglades gives me seasoning. 
and sent me a, a but little check. But I he's was he's been using them way long before. Yeah, they it's, even got in contact. I mean, you guys have ordered like I don't know gazillion bottles of Everglades just from watching my videos. But Everglades appreciated me mentioning their spice and hooked us up. So I, I mean, that's cool. And if you guys are cooking, I mean, heck, use, I don't know, try it out. But we don't use stuff because people pay us. We just want to have a big YouTube channel and have a bunch of friends on YouTube and make cool videos. This ain't about uh, us promoting gear. This is about us having a good time making videos. And like I said earlier, we've got fans and subscribers in 126 different countries. If you're watching this, you're from some other country, let us know, like leave a comment, let us know what ch what country you're from. Even if you have to leave it in your language, I'll figure out how to translate it and we appreciate it so very much. And he reads every single comment. I read every single comment. Probably three times. Yeah. Or more. Some of them I just read like a bunch of times because they make me happy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had a TV show, Respect Outdoors. I put my heart and soul into that show. I worked around the clock. I went broke. I mean, typically when you watch hunting and fishing shows on TV, the producer pays the network to get airtime on the show, on the on the channel, a lot of money, and then they go out try to get enough sponsors. That's why you see so much advertisement in TV. Get enough sponsors to pay them to pay the channel. It's like a big advertisement. YouTube is free and I can't I mean the only way I can get fans is if you guys subscribe and that's why I'm so stoked that you subscribe I mean heck one year we've got over 5,000 subscribers and the, the numbers growing and growing and growing and the, the bigger we get the faster we grow the more we grow the more we can do you know skin it bam all right y'all thank you so much for watching okay. subscribe oh let's do this one Two, three. Subscribe, Subscribe now! now. <laughs> <laughs> that worked perfect. Alright, y'all, we're out. Wait, I'll do the hand thing. And we're out. I missed it. Look, take number two. And we're out. There you go. Alright.